Hi, it's me again with Corolla Roll Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this logo. They're actually having trouble with the line cutting correctly, and they don't know if it's a, I told them last night I thought it was a laser problem, not a Corel problem. Now that I see the file, um, it might not be a problem. There's some, uh, well, it might, it still might be a, a laser problem, but anyway, one thing I'm going to address, and maybe... I know you've got an epilogue because you mentioned you're going to call it epilogue. When you're engraving, which is raster, uh, there's no reason to me to run, not run at a, well, maybe you are because you've got a white background. So I'm going to, maybe I'll step away from that. But what I would do, these are all the same logo, but they are a, bitmap type effect you can kind of see that uh, really it's just a show through so what I would do before I did all these and let me pick this red one and let's get it out of here and I'm going to set my nudge factor and I'm going to tell you what I, I really want that and I must have inadvertently let me put that back because I invertly and see, it's, they're not nothing's grouped together, so I invertly picked up something from another file. Let's just do that, and I just proved in an earlier video that white does engrave. Let's do our own yellow yellow box trick here. See. That might be your problem because the circle of the bitmap down here is really close. And if some of them are, are like that, uh, maybe that's what the problem is. But what I would do is I'm going to move the yellow box out of the way for a second. See, there, there's a good example of why that's not going to cut. So maybe because it's something on top of it. So, and then it's not a perfect circle. So let's try this. Let's take this logo, and there's really nothing you can do with it. Uh, you know, it's made up of lines. It's got a weird font and a weird, uh, I'm actually going to have to look at the real one. See, all that just kind of runs together. What I would do if this was mine, And so this is supposed to be white on or black on one side and white on the other. So what I'm going to do, we're talking less than two inches. I'm going to make my nudge factor to two. I would definitely think about changing your duplicate distance. And I'm going to nudge that out of the way. See, there's two sets of lines there. I don't see the reasoning for it. So I'm going to delete them right now. So this is supposed to be engraved and that's not... So I am going to take my, see, that's also a really, you know, they're just doing that for color. Let's change this to a hairline. And let's go ahead and change this to a hairline. Because all we want is the separation. Now, and I'm sorry if I'm, if I'm wrong. Uh, down the middle of this, should be no engraving because it's so they don't really want that double line there. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take that line and nudge it over. Take that one and nudge it over. And here's here's what I would do. I want that line between there, but I don't want it like that. So I'm going to take and see they're not even the same size. Um, and I've got something right there as part of that. Let's go to object, break, curve apart, and put that back. Part of his finger. This is 1.4939 tall. Let's make them the same. Let me see what this one is. 1.439.
1.439. See, now they're the same size, at least. Let's do this. Let's, uh, let's make one line out of that. And by doing that, I don't know what is going to be the best way. I'm going to take my nudge factor set on something really low. And I, if I'm doing something wrong, I truly apologize. So let's do that. Let's take this and break, cut one of the lines off. Now let's do this. Let's make this thing perfectly round with our ratio lock 1.44. Okay? But we have a line separation between them. Now, if you remember, we nudged so we can nudge. But I had it set on two inches. There's our, is the guy's hand, yeah, that guy's hand is outside the, the white. But it's really supposed to be black, so I think this is going to work. Because you really, there's no white and black. So now let's take our smart fill tool and let's fill in these letters. It's going to take some time, but you only have to do this once. And I don't understand. Well, I do too. She's color mapping, so it doesn't have to go all the way across the bed. Um, but once you've got this, you could change the color also. I'm thinking. So this side wants to be black. So now we're going to get a smart fill tool and fill that in. So that's perfect. And then the grass is white. Um, take the smart fill tool and fill in our letters. Maybe even fill in this. Let's see what happens. That's personal preference, which one you want. Now we're going to go in and, and fill in these letters. I'm going to zoom in. And also maybe would turn those lines into a hairline. Um, but if that's the look you like. If you turn them into a hairline, let's back up here. If you turn this line into a hairline. Okay and then fill it with black, you're going to get the same result and you're going to have a bigger, let's do the A. See the part of the A that's not very clear? Turn it into a hairline. Okay. There's actually two on top of there. So I'm going to nudge down. There we go. Get rid of it. Don't want it. And then... Um, the A is going to look a lot better, so I would do hairlines. Just remember, if you ever draw in hairlines, we need to take the lines away after you do this, or they will cut along with the other items. See, you, your lettering would be a lot better. Now, I'm going to go ahead and fill in a shoe in his pants and his you know, I can't really tell. Yeah, it's like that. I would maybe do something about his mouth a little bit differently. Uh, it takes a smart fill tool and to go into his hand past our circle. Now, you really don't need this circle. Okay? If that's the lo lo uh, look you want. And I don't really think we need this circle. Now, I am going to right click no outline. That way there's no there's no outline so it can't, it should not engrave. Now I'm going to go control G to group that together. Whoop. When I did that I thought I lost something. Yeah, I lost his eye somehow on that side. Well, that's part of the uh, lineage. So let's do this. Let's uh, change it to a half a point. Half a point won't engrave, but it'll still stay there. But I would definitely change the other ones to hairlines. Control G and group it. 
This isn't a perfect circle. Um, tell you what, I'm just going to move these out of the way. And hit. Well, let's hit P. And P. And I wish I could have them side by side. I would make this circle perfect. Let's just make it two inches by two inches. I almost guarantee that's going to get you a better job. Now, one more thing, and I know the video is getting long. I would, before I did anything, I would go to Windows, Dockers, Objects, and look at all these curves and click on that outer ring. You can see it's way down there, and I would move it all the way to the top because that's your cut line, and you'd want it to cut out last. Oh, maybe it wasn't. Let me tell you what. Let's do, it was picking up everything on the page. She's got them. Okay, there they are. Um, and see, I don't know why there's an A there. Let's delete it. It was just that other set of lines. But I'd make sure my cut line is in that same layer and have it go all the way to the top. Well, you know, not never mind on this. I forgot. There's There should be no lines in there. Um, because of the fact that we've erased them all, so it doesn't really matter what order it does it in. Now, what did I do with my circle? Sorry if I'm a little bit off tonight. Uh, had a long day. But I love, I truly love helping people. Now, color mapping. Just real quick. Um... You know, if something like this, I don't think color mapping is going to help you because they're all going to be, so we got two inches. I want to set to a nudge factor on point two, um, 2.05. Control D and make a duplicate. So here we go. Zero, set this to zero, zero, please. Now, you know, if you're doing this out of a whole sheet of wood, I don't think color mapping is going to help you. Because it's still, it's going to, matter of fact, it, color mapping might even slow you down. It'd be a neat test to do. Because when the laser is going, it'll actually go past and before it comes back, back and forth. So if you color map this and then go back and color map these, I think this is going to be as fast, if not a little faster, just to do them all without color mapping. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.